Hi. I haven't made a video since 2019. Welcome to the channel. And welcome to Orwell. Many of you, if not all of you, may know George Orwell, famous author. Books such as Animal Farm and 1984. Brilliant man, brilliant writer. If you haven't read any of his books, I recommend you read them all. And if you haven't played this game before, which is old and it's been out for a long time, and you probably already know about it, but I'm bored. I haven't made a video again since 2019, and I feel like making one because why the heck not? So, again, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Orwell. Let's go ahead and play. Let's create a character, shall we? Let's call myself simply King Winslow. Why not? Oh, right. <laughs> and I think today we yeah, it fits today. <laughs> Oops, that is not correct. Um, you don't need to know at mail dot com. Wait, you don't need to know. Please don't email me for the love of all at mail.com <laughs> obviously not a email email address but the game doesn't care so we work for the nation and we have one job protect and serve but who do we protect who do we serve let's find out in Orwell Uh, something's going on. <laughs> Great Orwell. Orwellian. Security. Government control. You know the usual. found what does it mean what does it mean <laughs> boom that's what it means it means a big old kaboom what kind of attack was this what kind of accident was this? The clocks were striking 13. <laughs> You're online. Good. Call me Sinies. I will be your advisor on Orwell. I probably said his name completely wrong. Sue me. Together we will form both the first and last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances. Select from thousands of applicants, selected from thousands of applicants across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident. So let's get started. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there is new information to be investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Now, you can see the date, not today's date, obviously. But the date of the game, the weather, general thing about the day, and a random quote. The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. L. H. Courtney. There will be objectives here. It'll be active, completed. You could set settings on the side. I'm pretty sure I'm okay with how volume turns out. But anyways, you'll get a reader, listener, and an insider. We'll get across those bridges when we get there. This just opens up this menu. Let's go to the reader. 
first bookmark from the National Beholder. Headlines. And we'll load up. The National Beholder. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. The leading newspaper of the nation. Fast, precise, and honest. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. I won't read this, but if anyone wishes to pause it and read it, you may do so. I might read other ones, but I won't read some of those right away. There are a lot of here. Um, gives you a lot of information. Very useful for knowing the backstory of everything going on. Maybe I should read them, but I'll get to that later. And then you got your headlines page again. And those are three of the, or two of the three, and then you got this one. And that's gonna be how this reader tool kind of works for websites and stuff. For now, we'll set it like that. I'm gonna go over here to the relationships tab to the unknown person. Now here we know absolutely nothing about this person yet. The profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue haired woman in that CCTV footage shows before the assault is no ass the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest records. And look at that. Now we have this information. Now this is where whoop, the detail the highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are available to be extracted. We call these set elements data chunks. Hovering the over data chunks will reveal their relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database to a profile to upload them to our servers. Anything that is highlighted here is information that we have the ability to copy over. So right now, this is what we know she looks like. So we will upload that to her database. Now her photo is there. We will also take her name, Cassandra Watergate, and drag that over there as well. Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information for OL well to identify a person. Information in documents can only become a data chunk when it is when it can clearly be assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this information to process. Proceed. I completely read that wrong. Her charge, arrest record, 2016, July 10th, assaulting a police officer. We'll drag that over there to give more information. Now, if you saw, yep, good. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can be accessed. So, now let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. So as, I, as you saw when I dragged it over there, it popped up a thing saying something else was found. There's a star up here indicating that new data has been found. It relates to this from the National Beholder. Is this woman a terrorist? A woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. The case that keeps the media and the public guessing, Cassandra W., pictured above, who was just allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago, is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of a demonstration against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the Safety Bill. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused. Cassandra W., who is an artist by profession, has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support. A trial has now been scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention when, Cath when Catherine Delarox, Delacrox, whatever you pronounce it, I'm not even sure, Sec Secretary of Security labeled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other rioters as anti-governmental terrorists. 
Now some information is useful, some is not. This one I'm going to drag, but it is not the most pertinent information. Um, but he says, oh yes, one who does one who does street art by blowing memorials to peace by any chance? It's good that you think ahead, but let's focus on the current objective first. I've held back a new document for you. I'll grant you access once you're done. However, this is the important information in here. Not to say the occupation is important. Any data you can get, you should get. And there's going to be some interesting things later that are interesting. So we'll drag that over there. And now it's in here. The exact zone location is the assault. Then, it turn, then she turns right up there before the explosion. Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Great, you found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators, like yourself, are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request actions. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass onto Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to process on the case, progress on the case. That's very important for that. Now, as you see, he, we have one more access of data from portfolio, Cassandra's port. Now, this is one of those examples that you could change the profile picture if you wanted to get a different picture. I don't think we need to. Here, I could drag this if I wanted. <laughs> so watch how this goes. A colorful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. That's her address now. So you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland? Somehow I doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong so easily? You've got to be more careful next time around. And that's something you have to consider. Like this, quit my doll day job, focus on her art career. I'll drag that. It doesn't give a lot of information, but it does in turn imply that there was another job. Which, him, interesting. We should find out what that job was. Now, here is something extra important. You can look through her gallery if you'd like. Um, like here, the businessman, the businessman's forgotten daughter, daughter of entrepreneurs. Is this relative information? Is it just the name of an art piece? I'm going to put that over there for now. And that'll sit there in information that may or may not be useful at a later date. Here, we have an implication that she was in a relationship. Christmas present for my darling, so we'll drag that over there. And it may or may not. You never know when these things will or will not open up other information. Now, I've reached the end of that, so we'll go back up here. Her Utel account. The Cassie 92. Now this opens up something interesting. Good, you found a chat handle. That will allow us to overhear any conversations on that account. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they're started. Now there's actually a chat log in here now, coming through now. Hey, you. Hey, Josie. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Ugh, you got me, Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all of Benton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. I don't like how sometimes it takes a while. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. Wine? What does Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all-around badass, have in mind this time? Rob's just a 
business call from one of his favorite clients. Actually, yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. Very serious business, Cassandra. I thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of wine. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty buzzed to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's a lightweight. Oh, whatever. I guess I should have picked up some of those party pills from Big Pharma, a.k.a. my parents then. Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Ugh, yeah, maybe. Gotta go now. Text you later. XOXO. On the bottom it says, Session Closed. That is the extent of this conversation. But here we already have a lot of data chunks. Now, one of the reasons it's called Orwell, too, think about it. Government surveillance and all that was a big subject of Orwell. And right here, that's kind of what this game represents. Is notice in this situation, we got a handle and now we are able to read everything. We know that she stole a platinum card. We know she stole a credit card of an unknown person. If we're able to find out who she was talking about, we could lock, lock it for the owner. Well, we know it's Joseph Langley, her fearless attorney. Now this does two things. Finds us a related document, but it also now gives, oh uh, wait, wait, she stole the credit card of her lawyer, really? Well, we should be able to track the credit card of this Langley down and lock it for him. Done, no, really, no need to thank me, Mr. Langley. But as you see down here, you now have a profile for a related person. It can be accessed via the profiler. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted to their relevant profiles. And you see now we have this for him, where we can drag data to this as well if we find more related information. Also, drag this Big Pharma, daughter of pharmaceutical entrepreneurs here, which now opens up another piece of related data, Watergate, Pharma Entrepreneurs. That does ring a bell. Now we go to the reader. We've got two different pieces here. Procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. Orwell informs me you just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the other will become invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. So this is information on him. These two pieces conflict with each other. So we have to make a decision on which one. The case that has been at the center of the media attention for the last months has finally come to an end. Cassandra W. was acquitted of the, of the alleged assault against a police officer before the trial took pace, place, with the case being closed due to lack of evidence yesterday. However, the case might be reopened should new evidence be discovered. The suspect's lawyer, Joseph Langley, pictured above, welcomed this outcome. At no point has there ever been any valid evidence that my client was guilty. In no point at all. The revered defense attorney commented during a post-trial press gathering. The defense successfully brought video evidence depicting the incident in question, which eventually turned the tide of the proceedings. Meanwhile, the relatives of the victims expressed their disappointment on hearing the result of the lawsuit. They openly voiced their concerns that the wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. The victim, a father of two young sons, was rushed to the hospital after the incident in mid-July, where he is still in an induced coma, unresponsive to treatment. <clears throat> so this, I have to make a decision, on which I think is the correct data chunk. Um, now I'm going to pick this one. The wealthy family of the accused might have influenced the outcome in her favor. I'm going to drag that over there. Now this makes the other data chunk unusable. Oh, now this is the severe accusation. 
Based on this, we could take action against your parents if we had their names. Now, we can no longer use this at all. There is no way to undo that decision we made. So let's go back to products. Actually, let me go back in here. No, I can't drag his picture yet. We'll ignore that for now. Products. This is just a general website here. Shows the company. Let's skip to jobs for a second. Okay, that's what I was thinking. There wasn't anything on this page. Now we'll go to company, and this is where we're going to see some interesting things. So here, junior COO of Watergate Pharmaceuticals. We're going to drag that over there. Appointed to be the, CC, the COO of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior COO seems quite odd. She had mentioned she quit a doll job, didn't she? Yes. Now we have the names of her parents. So we'll drag that over there. And again, we could update her profile picture if we choose. Ah, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. Now we know her parents, we can begin investigating the corruption allegations. Good work. Now, you can see there's some information Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published, published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. There's something on this jobs page that I need to look for. Yes, right here. They are urgently looking for a new COO to replace the retired, formerly appointed predecessor. So now we confirm via their website she is not there anymore or well, maybe i was wrong and nothing stays in the family ouch this is probably what she meant about quitting her job good however as you saw currently i am thinking that our miss watergate underwent quite a radical change don't you agree let's find out what happened in between these two lives of hers what may have caused this radical shift there was related document here in timelines but i'm going to get to that in a second You're going to see this a lot in these conversations. Like here you've had a new article come out. Crime rate continues to drop. The Minister of Security has presented latest numbers on crime statistics in the country. Never have there been so many, so few violent crimes. Here, she emphasizes the number of recorded criminal offenses decreased by 4.8% in comparison to last year. Now here, you see a link to the safety bill. The infamous safety bill. We're going to quick click on that. So here, the party. Safety bill is passed in 2009. The party is elected in government in 2011. I will leave this here for you to pause if you wish and read it. Although they do claim... It came into effect 2011. The number of crimes and terrorists, terrorism committed have been decreasing continuously, and the trend is ongoing. There was a terrorist incident of 2008 that was a terrible consequence of a premature retreat of their troops from Pargis, a region torn by civil unrest for years. In 2019, they made preparations to send their soldiers back to safeguard the region, and, you know, this is just a bunch of stuff about them and the supposed peacekeeping missions they were doing. Um, again, you can pause if you wish to read that. We're going to go to projects. I'm sorry, we're already in projects. I'm going to click the participants tab. Which has nothing important. We're going to go to people. Here you can see the Prime Minister, Robert Blaine, and some information on him. We're going to see author Arthur Scott Gallagher, Secretary of Economy and Trade, and a little bit about him. Catherine Delacroix, Delacrox, Secretary of Security, 
a bit about her. And then Peter Faulkner, Secretary of Defense. Now this leads back to that primary page that had the mission on it. I'm going to go to positions. And this just explains their mission statements and views for this bill. And that's all that's important on that at the moment. We're going to go back down here to Cassandra's timeline. Again, we can update this if we wish to. We'll throw this in. Art and music, not as important, but Activision, Activision, Activism makes that at least somewhat interesting. Art, music, Activism, Activism, whatever, dude, I cannot speak. What a lineup. And now we have an important piece of information. Her date of birth, September 13th, 1992. Now, here is going to be similar to Facebook kind of thing, where it has a lot of information that's important. What she likes. It has comments and conversations. Um, you can, again, pause to read if you'd like. Here we do have a very important piece of information. Fuck all of you government lackeys. Oh, we know she hates the government. Well, well, Miss Watergate. We aren't too fond of you either. Now here we have a piece of information that conflicts. However, if you look down here, we don't know the conflict yet. We haven't come across the conflicting data yet. But it would open up a new profile. Now here, we have that she's in a relationship. Now we kind of know that, but we can clarify with this as well that they are in a relationship together, even though we kind of know that. With her lawyer, hmm, might be noteworthy. Now we'll keep scrolling. Now you're gonna come across some people, Mary, Harrison, Juliet. People may or may not be important later down the line. You could throw this if you wish to. Now this is one of those things that's like, Cassandra shall be known to the world as Carcesis. It does open up an alter ego. It also then creates that she's in contact with Juliet Carrington, her alias name, and creates a new profile for Juliet. So we'll drag that over. An alias name. You know people on the web. So many names, so many identities. It's always good to record every alias. Then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they are using them. So now if you hit this button here, we have a profile for Bruno, Alice, now Juliet, and Joseph. Now, Harrison O'Donnell. That's a spirit kiddo. Now I'd like to invite you to our little activist group. And they were... In apparently involved in the protest of the Freedom Plaza. So we'll drag that over there. It confirms that she was in an activist group that Harrison O'Donnell invited her to. And now, here we have found the other piece of conflicting data. This conflicts with, shut your freaking mouth, okay? Is it a broken friendship from there? Or down here, are they still best friends? Now, I believe that they are probably still best friends now. I think she's just disappointed in this conversation. You know what? I'm really sorry that I still care about my best friend no matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder. But in that case, that's in the past now. Now, we don't see any comments by her, but that's the only indication that you get here that indicates that there is a bad um, relationship in this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and put best friends with Mary in as the accurate data. Now, there was nothing else there, and I can't click 
on these people's profiles here. So I'm gonna go back here. There's a listener. There's a new chat session with Joseph. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Yeah, don't remind me. You know I have a history with that place. I wish it'd be a little bit faster. Already fucking me up enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories and now I was there just moments before this happened. Ugh, should have never gone to that damn protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not to me. I was so happy when Goldfells accepted me into uh, I was so happy when Goldfells accepted me into though. Into thought, I'm sorry. I desperately wanted to go to prove my worst to the cause. Think of it this way. If you would have not gone to the protest, then you would have never been wrongfully indicted and we would have never been met. Yeah, and I would not have been called a terrorist in all the papers. You are not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, damn it. What? Your card's not working here. Can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? Unless you went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money in there. I guess we'll have to go without wine, then. Uh... Here's the thing. I've got an important appointment tonight. It's surprising out of schedule and I can't postpone it. You've got to be kidding me. I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. You always have an appointment. One. Appointment here. Appointment there. Appointment every fucking where. How can you constantly do this to me? Great, great, great speller. Darling, please just calm down. Have you taken your metharin? Yes, damn it. Is this the only thing that matters to you? That I'm on fucking happy pills all day? Darling, please. It's nothing like that and you know it. So I keep my mouth shut whenever you leave me hanging. If I don't show up at this appointment, I risk ver losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Oh no, I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that very important client of yours now. Cassie, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm just not an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie. Going home now in case I'm getting picked up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. Please. And that's the end of that conversation. We know that she is on methyrin. We're going to drag that over there. What is methyrin? Can you look that up for me, please? In a minute, yes. There was one more. I was so happy when Goldfells expected, accepted me into thought. We're going to go ahead and throw that in there. we we'll open one related document. An activist group called Thought. Interesting. Maybe that's what influenced her. And who is Goldfells? We should find something that shows her current attitude and see if we're following the right person. And then here, that she has to catch a bus there every day. We'll drag that over. Meaning her presence there before the bombing could be a coincidence after all. I'll reserve my thoughts until you find more evidence. Now in the reader, we found the thought. And an overview of the thought. Now at the moment, most of these are private. The only one we can read is, Freedom is unfree. Which we know was written here, we can see, by Catharsis. Which you can again pause and read if you'd like. Now here, there's a conflict. Has an adverse attitude towards violence. Yet we do not yet have a conflicting thought. Now I just hit on Catharsis' profile. We already have her you tell so that doesn't matter to us in this situation, but it's useful for possibly another time. We're gonna go back. We're gonna hit this, because it's a clickable link. 
predicted pretty much this for all the web. And here's Goldfells. And the information related. Again, you can pause and read. Pause and read. Now there's some comments here. Pause and read. Now I'm going to click on Goldfell's profile. He's an administrator, but I don't have any actual related information yet that I can do for him. So we're going to click on this. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and take a pause for now. Um, I'm not sure yet how long this video is going to be. Um, but anyone who comes, anyone who happens to come across this video and watches it, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm not saying I'm going to be making anything else. I don't know. I was like, eh, let's make one. See what happens. So thank you guys very much. I hope you guys have an absolute fantastic day night, week, year, best, whatever. Y'all are wonderful. Bye.